Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, Louisa, would you please take attendance for us? Yes. Thank you. Um, and let's all take a minute, uh, look at the minutes of March 15th. I'd like to make a motion to accept the minutes. I need a second. Thank you, Barbara. Second. All in favor, signify by saying hi or aye or raise your hand or whatever. Aye. Aye. Thank you. Um, so the minutes have been approved. Uh, any public comments, questions, people at all? Okay, we'll move on to item number four, new business. Uh, we need to approve the eligibility list for the custodians. So if we could all take a look at that. Any comments about that? Yeah, just uh, we have open custodian job. We had some, if you remember, um, you had appointed someone to be in the job provisionally. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, and that person was required to take the test like everyone else. And uh, we did the ex we did the exam. Um, and we we had a, we actually are pretty happy with the the group of people. We had some quali highly qualified people, so we think it's a solid list. Okay, terrific. Um, I need a motion to approve the eligibility list for custodian. I'll make a motion. Thank you, Willie. And a second. Thank you, Barbara. Uh, so to uh, approve the eligibility list for custodian, signify by saying aye or raise your hand. Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you. And so the eligibility list for custodians has been approved. Let's move on. We all set? Yep. Okay. I'm Lisa, you're good, right? I'm trying to, you're all set, right, Louisa? You're the one that's doing the yeoman's work here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm trying to beat my record of last month. So here we go. <laughs> I'm not sure you'll ever beat that. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are now at the point where we want to approve the eligibility list for Park Ranger. Um, any discussion here, Tom? Anything you'd we, like to add? We also had a provisional here, and uh, the the um, the person who was in provisional did not take the exam, just as FYI. But we have a very, I mean, if you see, it was a very robust list of applicants yeah. who took the exam. Um, and uh, we also had, we had very good folks, and we had some people with some specific park ranger experience, which uh, which put them towards the top there. So we also think this is a, great, a good, very good list. Okay, terrific. Uh, a motion to accept the eligibility list for Park Ranger? I'll make a motion. Thank you, Willie. And a second, please. Thank you, Barbara. So please uh, signify by saying A or nay for the eligibility list for Park Ranger. Signify by saying aye or raise your hand. Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you. So the no nay. I see. I'm counting all the hands are up. So I figure no nays, no uh, abstentions. I'm just assuming. Sorry. Um, so the eligibility list for Park Ranger has been approved. Thank you. Thank you. And I mean, I think I hope you're getting from my comments that we're starting to see, a, you know, we had a real problem getting folks to apply for anything here. Yeah. We're starting to see that open up a little bit. Not, yes. We're not 100 percent there yet. Oh, there's Michelle. Yes, well, we're not 100 percent there yet, but it is, as you can see, it's getting better. So, here. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so this is good news for us. Yeah, I'm especially um, impressed by the park ranger list. Yeah. Because that's not such an easy job to fill. I assume. You are correct. Um, but you, and you know, you had a number of people that didn't have the qualifications, but still, it's good news that people are interested in our jobs. Absolutely. Terrific. Okay, we'll move on to the eligibility list uh, for the sanitation and or, and registered sanitation. Now, why that split title? Okay, so first of all, it's sanitarian, not sanitation. This is health department. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm <laughs> the reading a teacher. Why different, Dan? <laughs> Sorry. Um, yes. So <clears throat> there are two. So the position is registered sanitarian, sanitarian because a you can be a sanitarian without being a fully registered sanitarian. Registered sanitarians have a uh, higher level of certification. The good news is, is that we had two people who have the highest level. If you look at the list, 
um, you'll see 200 percent. We have two people that have everything across the board, which is which is great. This yeah. is an extremely difficult job to get qualified candidates for. Extremely difficult, and uh, we have lucked out with two um, highly qualified people. I'm going to remind everybody: this is the list that we had to send you amended, and right. and we have to do a mea culpa because somebody applied literally at the last, like in the last two or three minutes, it was open and we didn't check it at the very end again. Our mistake, our problem. So we did the original um, list without the person and then we redid the whole list with the person in there assessing it and the person, as you can see, everybody passed. Right. So um, the person passed in the list. So um, that's why you got an amended version and we apologize for that. It was just a mistake in our office. So what makes this job so diff difficult to fill? Well, <clears throat> it's kind of, it's a very good job, but it, it requires a lot of certifications, which requires a lot of time and training. And also, I mean, you're doing, you know, you're inspecting, uh, you know, uh, septic tanks and, you know, <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's a great right. job, but yeah. right. It's not the kind of thing when you're in college, you're like, I want to be a sanitarian. I see. Right, but it is a fantastic job, and once you get in it, once folks get in it, it's uh, you can move up pretty well. And you make uh, you make a good a good penny off of this job. So, okay, um, thank you. Okay. So we're so we're confident in the list, and we're and the good news is is that um, we have two openings for this job. Oh, okay, all right. Can, it's up to the department to choose, but we have some qualified candidates for the two openings. Okay, great. All right, so we are here now to approve the eligibility list for the sanitarian and the registered sanitarian. Very good, Anne. Very proud of you. <laughs> I didn't know to catch on. Um, uh, please signify uh, your approval by saying aye or raising your hand. Do we have a motion and a second? Oh, no. See, I'm all ahead of myself. Thank you, <laughs> Michelle. We'll make the motion, and I need a second. Okay, thank you, Barbara. All right, now, all those uh, who approve the eligibility list for sanitarian or registered sanitarian, please signify by saying aye or raising your hand. Aye. No oppose, no abstentions. Thank you. So the list has been approved. Um, can we stop for a second? Uh, Bill, yes, please. Um, Alice said, saying the link is not working. She's trying, but the link is not working. Oh. Um, you try to resend it again. I, I will send it again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I would say we continue. I mean, we continue to go forward, and if Alice is able to join, she can join. This is where, um, if you remember, we got we sent you an email. We're we're asking you to add two more items to the agenda. Yes. Let me give a little explanation as to why I'm asking you to add them to the agenda. First of all, this is a regular scheduled city civil service meeting. So that means we have the ability to add to the agenda. If this was a special meeting, we could not add to the agenda. Um, we knew we were going to do this, and we actually talked to Ann to give her a heads up that, and then we sent you the email about it because um, the, both tests were held on Monday. And we are required to provide you the, the what is on the agenda and the backup in within uh, before 48 hours before the before the actual meeting and so we were not it was not possible for us to give you the backup meaning the test lists because the exams were just just happened on Monday but we also didn't want to hold back on filling the positions for another month or drag you guys into another special meeting so in we talked to Ann and we agreed that we would ask you guys to add the two to the agenda so they went, just so we're clear, they went through the exact full process like everyone else did. It's just the timing led up to, um, it just happened on Monday instead okay. of it happened last week. Okay. So the first thing we, we would ask you is to, um, to suspend the rules to add the health assistant title to the agenda. Okay. For, for, for approval of the eligibility list. Right. Okay. Do so you need to make a motion in a second? And I think you yes. need to put it on. Yeah, do we need to have a motion to put it on the agenda. Mm -hmm. uh, would someone make that motion, please? Okay, thank you, Barbara. And a second from Michelle. 
So all in favor of putting the eligibility list for a health assistant onto this agenda, signify by saying aye or raising your hand. Aye. Okay, no opposition and no abstentions. Okay, so the eligibility list is now a part of our agenda. And I would like to make a motion to accept the eligibility list for health assistant. I need a second. Thank you, Barbara. Uh, the motion has been made and seconded. All in favor, please signify by raising your hand or saying aye. Was that an I, Willie? Yeah, as I. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks. Um, just, just to give you 30 seconds on the health assistant. Um, so we we created a medical terminology exam. There was one that was on our system. And remember, you 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 guys had given us directive to do 25% uh, training and experience and 75% a medical terminology exam. We did there was one on our um, system that we buy, the OPAC system but we reviewed it and did not think it was appropriate for this job. It was more appropriate for like a nurse working in, in a hospital situation, which is not this public school system. So we actually direct, we actually created one, you're working with the department, and then we had an outside health um, director for not connected to the town of Trumbull, reviewed it and uh, fixed it up and did whatever they can then approve the list for us. So we had someone from the outside approve the exam for us. Oh, that's terrific. Good. Just wanted to let you know what we're doing here. Okay. Okay. Terrific. So thank you for approving the list. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good work. Okay. Thank you. Um, and we um uh, we see here that we have another eligibility list that does not appear on our written agenda. So I would like to have a motion to put the eligibility list for a mechanic equipment operator for the golf course onto the agenda. Somebody make that motion. Thank you, Barbara. And second, Michelle, thank you. So it has, the motion has been made and seconded to put the eligibility list for the mechanic equipment operator for the golf course onto our agenda. Please signify your approval by saying aye or raising your hand. Aye. Thank you. And everybody's been accounted for. So um, thank you. The eligibility list for the mechanic equipment operator for the golf course has been placed on the agenda. Um, so now I'd like to make a motion. Before, before we do that, just 30 seconds on, on the golf. This one There's has been one tough. Person. This one's been tough. Um, this is a very, very specialized job. Somebody, yeah. it's not, just, you have to have mechanic skills, but you also have to do sharpening. I've learned this. <laughs> In this sharpening blades on the uh, mowers is a very, very big deal. It's also very difficult. And um, we have we did a round of testing where um, everybody failed. And so uh, we did a second round of testing. This is the result of the second round. And um, we had two people that that applied for it. One passed and one failed. And um, it just it just by coincidence, the person who passed is the person that is acting in the job right now, but we hired, we not hired, we had an outside, the outside vendor that makes the lawnmowers sent somebody in to us to do the, the sharpening test and the other mechanical tests so that we had an outside person review it and they did the scoring from the outside. So there was an independent score. Okay. So we're confident in the list. Um, can I just ask this one question um, from the other candidates that applied? Um, are, are you saying that some of them failed because they couldn't sharpen, but all of the aspects of the job they could do? There are two, were two rounds of tests. The first round, the first round, um, there was, so we took a lot of things into account, including, um, you know, it's because it's set training and experience. And um, we had a lot of mechanics that applied, not a lot, a couple of, we didn't have a lot of people apply, period. But right. we had a couple of mechanics apply that had no golf experience. And then we had some folks that had golf experience and not the mechanic stuff. So that that led to some failures. But we did have test some people with the second step, which was the practical, which included sharpening other things too, like you know, putting together a lawnmower kind of stuff. But really sharpening was the big thing. And yet the first round, everybody, everybody failed somewhere in the first round. In the second round, we had one person pass, Mr. Romano. 
Okay. Okay. Um, so did I, did we make a motion to put it on the agenda? I can't remember where it's on the, it is on the agenda. We have to take a motion to approve. Okay. The, the motion in a second, I believe. I don't think we have that yet. Yes. Thank you. So I need a second for the motion to put the mechanic equipment operator for the golf course on the agenda, uh, 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 to approve it, to approve it. Yes. Yes. To approve it. Thank you, Barbara. Uh, the motion has been made and seconded to oh. put Barbara was the first. I don't, I don't think we saw a second. Did we see a second? I thought I said, oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought I put it forward, but I apologize if I missed it. No, no, please. Are you kidding? It seems I'm the goof up this time. <laughs> um, okay. So in order to make it clear, uh, I have made the motion to put the eligibility list on the, no, no, accept, we're, we're now approving to accept the it's Barbara and Michelle. List. Yep. And yes, and Barbara and Mich whatever you write down, Louisa, we're all confused now. <laughs> but but the, now we're motion gonna take a vote. Has, the motion has been made and seconded. That is correct. To uh, approve the eligibility list for mechanic equipment operator, please signify by saying yes or raising your hand. Willie? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> All opposed? No. And no abstentions. Okay, thank you. Oh, that's it. We And we have done it. I appreciate it. Now we need a motion to adjourn. Yes, we need a motion to adjourn. Thank you, Michelle. And Willie's seconding it. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you, everyone. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate it. We really do. Yeah, thanks a lot. Take care, everyone. Right. Have a good day. When we meet, it'll be warm and hot. What's that? What's that, Michelle? Next time we meet, it'll be nice and warm. Oh, please. Ugh. One of these days, we'll do one in person and meet outside. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Right.